Right, back with you. You know, we've been speaking about these oak doors that are on this um, project that we're doing. Well, what we're doing is getting a coat of this on it, which is the no-nonsense um, trade floor varnish, which we found ideal. A lot of people say to us, oh, Phil, are you going to oil your oak doors with Osmo and things like that? Well, I've done that before. I've followed up on jobs where decorators done that before. And to be honest, I don't really like the oil finish on doors. I prefer it where we've got something that soaks in, dries hard, which that's why we go for a, a floor varnish, a water-based floor varnish. We go for that and then um, give it one coat, give it a nib down, second coat nib down, third coat, it's good to go. The reason we don't like the oil finishes, um, the wax oils, is mainly because with greasy finger marks and people touching the door edges, you'll find that over a period of time, particularly around the door handles and slightly higher up where people grab the door, your oils and your dirt off your fingers seem to penetrate into those um, areas and it means a lot of cleaning down. Whereas if you've got a water-based floor varnish that's on the door, it's dead easy. You can get a damp cloth and just wipe them down and they seem to keep cleaner for longer. So I've got my dad on the door already. So I'll flip you around and just see what he's doing. Now it's water-based, so just work with it quickly. He's obviously watched one of my videos on how to paint a door because he's done the mouldings. Well, he's actually done the door edge first. He's um, shut that because now we're on the inside. Done the door edge, he's done the mouldings, working top to bottom. We're on the bottom panels now, doing the mouldings. We've got a nice Eco um, Union 3 inch brush. Just zoom in on that. Again, not sponsored by Eco Union, um, but we have bought these through Tikarilla, which are really nice. Tikarilla in the UK. They're a lovely bristle, um, they're quite soft. They're not quite what I'd call a finishing off brush, but for this sort of work, it's ideal. Um, they are a flag tip, so they are nice and soft, but um, they're a longer length. You can get plenty on. So there we go, we're just laying it off, just feathering it around. We're not too worried about the fatty edges, which we spoke about before because um, it dries quite quick and this is just the first coat this is just the first coat we're putting on now if it was on the floor you can ease it slightly with clean water 10 percent on these doors because this varnish is so thin we're not even bothering we're just getting it on we're needing this as a protection coat before i start spraying before i do any other woodwork painting get a protection coat on it's going to protect it from anybody else coming into the property touching it so one coat for now when we come back to do these, we'll give them a, a sand down with one of those finishing pads. You've seen them before on videos. I think I might have some on um, another video to show you using the sanding pads. So um, we're coming down the... Dad, do you know what that part of the door's called? He's thinking. The mullion rail. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, he knows what it is, he's winding me up. <laughs> so my dad's doing it slightly different to how, how I do it on the last videos when I've shown you how to paint a door. He's actually doing it as you should be. You do your mouldings, you do your panels, then you come to your top mullion, um, lower mullion, and then he'll go across the um, freeze rail at the top. Then he'll come down to the middle rail. He'll probably take the side styles in and then finish up like I do with the bottom rail just so you don't pick up any dirt but you can see how we're doing it properly top to bottom it's coming in with this middle mullion now again put plenty on because it's going to soak in and this is a oak finished door now it's not an oak solid oak door there'll be veneers obviously the cost would be cost prohibitive if you start to put in solid oak doors on these now can you see what he's doing with the brush? He's working from one side of the kettle. Now these are traditional metal paint kettles. We work from one side with one colour, let them dry out, come back to them, work from another side. We've got multiples of these, so nobody start commenting, saying, oh, you soften your paint up. No, because we have them three, four, five on one job if we need to. It dries off nicely. Work from one side of the kettle, keeping the handle clean, keeping your 
clothes clean, it's not touching you. There's nothing worse than working from both sides of a paint pot, paint kettle, whatever you want to call it, and you're getting covered in paint. My dad's been doing it now for a few years, carefully cutting in there a lot. Don't need a sheet down, we've got these Antinox protection sheets. My dad's been doing it a few years now, so he knows what he's doing. We don't need to tell an old dog what new tricks are or a grandmother to suck eggs, whatever the sayings are. You see what he's doing? He's coming down the, the lock rail, which is the, la the latch style, if you want to call it the latch, because that's where the handles are fitted. You can see what are we, just about five minutes into the video. We're doing it slowly so you can see it. He's been whipping around these doors. Doesn't take long to do a door by brush. On this, no need to be using a roller. We get a nice finish, it brushes it out nicely. No fatty edges because we're just knocking them off as we go. And we're coming all the way down to the bottom, taking care not to pick up any dirt, which there shouldn't be any dirt on the floor because I've backed it out. I've had the vacuum cleaner on it, I've swept it, so we should be virtually a sterile environment. I know it's not easy to get a sterile environment when you've got joiners um, still in the house. But look, it's over six minutes and we're coming into the very bottom rail. And we're nearly done. So, if you say now, are you pricing this sort of thing? Price for the job done, not the time taken. Because getting it right to get a door finished nicely and painted well, I'll say it isn't a five minute job. Are we all laughing at that? We should be. So there's the door done. Right, let's flip you around. Just checking for any runs. Shouldn't be any runs. Any fatty edges? No, no fatty edges. But as I've said, as I've said, this is the first coat, so we're not too worried about um, getting too much on because it's going to soak in. You brush it out, and then when that's all dry, which 10-15 minutes, people can touch it. It's all protected, which is great. Now, the best thing about this is it sands down lovely. You can see which brand I've had. This is about 18, 19 pounds for a two and a half litre tin, which is really good going. Dries hard, sands down well, gives you a lovely finish. When we come to the end of this project, I'll obviously do a recap on what the doors all look like. But just to reiterate, this is just the first coat of three. First coat is like your base primer. Second coat is like having an undercoat and your top coat is your finish. And for three coats, that'll be lovely. Anybody who wants to save a bit of time and probably save some money will probably go one coat, two coats, done. But no, we're not on a price like that on this job. We're doing a proper job. We're doing a primer coat, second coat, and a third coat. So that's three coats all in one on these lovely oak doors. And once we're done, they'll be fantastic. So there you go. I've shown you how to do, I've not shown you how to do it, but um, my dad's shown you how to paint uh, oak door, and that's protected now for the rest of the job that we're going to be pursuing in here spraying what I would do is once that's dry just put some sheets over it I might even take the door off and move it out into the other room and then protect up um, the doorway from any dust and overspray so for now let's call it a day thumbs up comments press the bell subscribe all the usual and we'll see you on the next one thanks very much bye <laughs>